Whether you like mustard on your hot dog or horseradish on your bun, you can thank butterflies. We like to think that humans selected a lot of the traits that we eat, like the large corn cob or a, a large tomato. But in this case, it's really the caterpillars that selected for the chemistry that we like when we eat mustards or wasabi or horseradish. University of Missouri Bond Life Sciences Center researchers recently gained insights into how certain plants and butterflies genetically co-evolved, each building new chemical defenses to counter the other. While plants have evolved glucosinolates as a way to ward off the insects, the cabbage butterflies are the only insects that can eat these plants because they've evolved a nitrile specifier protein that allows them not only to detoxify glucosinolates but then to turn it into a, a defense that makes them then uh, nasty tasting to birds. Peers partnered with scientists in Germany and Sweden to map this evolutionary arms race between cabbage butterfly relatives and plants like broccoli, cauliflower, and kale to see how they adapted in tandem. This evolutionary arms race between the Brassicales as well as the cabbage butterflies occurred over tens of millions of years and we see repeated cycles of chemical escalation where the plant evolved new suites of compounds and where the insects uh, with a little bit of a lag time, then evolved a counter adaptation to each one of those suites. This research provides genetic evidence to support coevolution, an idea coined 50 years ago in a landmark study by Peter Raven and Paul Ehrlich. We found that brand new chemical defenses in the plant arose via gene duplications. Given sufficient amount of time that these insects actually evolved counter defenses or counter adaptations to these new chemical defenses, and that this led to the diversity that currently exists on both sides. For the Bond Life Sciences Center, I'm Roger Meissen.